Right, so uh, these are the fuse holders that uh, was on the power lead for the ICOM 7610. And uh, just the other day that I noticed that they were a bit warm, getting hot, so uh, we were looking to change them. So I uh, stripped them down and uh, rebuilt them. And uh, they seem to have not been getting hot, but uh, in the meantime, I ordered some other fuse holders uh, off Amazon. Uh, they came with uh, 60 amp fuses, so I ordered some uh, 30 amp fuses to put in them. So uh, these are working all at once, so we're all making the proper connection of them. So uh, just the speed fuses. And we've got some of these here. So uh, these are uh, from Amazon. Uh, 15. It was a 15 pound odds uh, for three of them and uh, the internal fuses but there were 60 amp fuses so we ordered some uh, AJU uh, 30 amp fuses for the holders there so I thought 60 amp were a bit much <laughs> so 30 amp there anyway fuses and uh, I don't know if they're made in China or not but they seem to be uh, alright in case anybody's looking for any so we'll, we'll keep our eye on them, see if these get hot. Uh, if they do, we'll change them again. But I don't think, I don't know, have any issues with these. Everything seems to be hunky dory, and we're, we've got them right into the, the power thing here. Power supply. Uh, so there we are, in case anybody's looking for a. Uh, in the size room, there's my firm, so. They're quite big, I'd say maybe what, just over an inch, or maybe two inches long. And there comes with the, the fan kicking in on the power thing. Rather noisy this fan in this uh, power supply here, but uh, at least we know it's working. Uh, it doesn't pick up uh, on the audio on the radio, so that's good. But uh, so there we are, in case anybody's... Uh, Looking for fuse holders, I just wanted to put these up. And there's the difference in the size. So there we are, stay safe, 73.